previous class we will discuss about what is deforestation and effect of deforestation you know so today we will discuss about the next sub topic the conservation of forest and wildlife you know conservation of forest and wildlife you know what is the meaning of the conservation the conservation means what protect you know why we are protect the forest and wildlife why we are protect the forest and wildlife you know forest is very important for us okay because there so many living organisms both like plants as well as animal itself it can survive in the forest it is you know and there is so many wildlife you know like the wild animals also it can survive in that place so that way we will protect that forest as well as the wildlife animal is okay so in this section we will discuss about first you know the biosphere you know what, what is the meaning of that biosphere you know bio means nothing but is a living you know bio means nothing but is a living it means the both plants and animals living both plants both plants and animals plants and animals okay ma so that is bio the bio is pure means nothing but the living organism you know the living organism okay what that living organism it can survive on the earth for existing in our support of life you know that both the plants and animals you know the both the plants and animals it can exist in our life on the earth surface the work exists in our life in the egg surface that is called what biosphere that is called what biosphere the biosphere means nothing but the part of the egg the part of the egg the living organism the living organism exist in our life exist in that support life is known as that biosphere that is nothing but the whole the living things like plants and animals it can live on that earth surface that is called what biosphere okay and next one biodiversity next one biodiversity you know what is the meaning of that biodiversity you know what is the meaning of biodiversity so the bio means nothing but is a living things you know the living the both plants and animals you know the diversity means what diversity means like that both the plants as well as animal it can live in that specific areas so that organism it can uh, mutual understanding or the inter relationship you know the inter relationship or relationship relationship within that environment okay so the biodiversity is nothing but the living organism the living organism so what is the meaning of the living organism both plant as well as animals you know the both plant as well as animal existing in our life you know exist exist in life in the earth life in the earth so these organism it has that inter relationship inter relationship inter relationship between the both plants as well as animals sometimes the relationship to give up the relationship in that environment relationship with environment relationship with environment so the biodiversity means nothing but that biodiversity or that biology 
the tails. You know, the living organism exists in our life in the egg surface. Okay, by exists in our life in the egg surface. So that organism can have the interrelation seed. That interrelation seed means nothing but the both organism get benefited from one to another. You know what, sir? That means the depending upon that other animals. Okay, but the each organism can depending upon the one to other organism. That is called the interrelation seed. And the relationship within that environment. Relationship within that environment. So that is your biodiversity. What is this? That is called what? That is called the biodiversity. Okay, well, so that is your so one is your very important. Okay, well. So and so the uh, Professor the Ahmad, you know Professor Ahmad is organizing one of the tour. They will carry the some students, they will visit some of that reserve. Okay, well. what is the name of the reserve? The Panchmarki Reserve. What is the name of the reserve? Is here Panchmarki Reserve. Okay, well. So they will observe that lot of the living organism you can survive on the <coughs> reserves. Like that plants as well as that animals and even microorganisms you can survive on the place. Okay, well. So they will explain to the professor they will explain about that natural habitat like that forest and there so many living organisms or like plants as well as animals and microorganisms you can survive in that place. So he will explain about that one. And he knows, you know, he knows so those organisms or those animals you can live in that upper Himalayan peak and those belong to the lower western gods. So that organism it can survive in the top to bottom. You know, like that Himalayan means what? Like the Himalayan scale like the bottom. You know, like the flat area and the middle and last one the peak. Okay, wow. So that Himalayas is covered with uh, such kind of the forest only. So that's why like that different kinds of organism it can exist in our life in that forest area. Okay, well, he is close. Then we will explain about that. Uh, like the forest as well as the character of uh, plants as well as the animal, we will explain and they will observe. Okay, well. And so some the forest employee, the Mahabharati forest employee to guide them children inside the biosphere reserve. So next to the forest employee, we will explain about that uh, forest, you know, how to preserve that forest and because the how to Protect it like plants as well as the animals and like the national park or sanctuaries also is there. Then we will explain. Okay, wow. And the next one, the sanctuary. The 
then it's going to what? Sand space. You know we are saying that sanda is you know the sand space means the area where animal or the organism protected from disturbing the natural habitat. Disturbing from the natural habitat that is called what? Sand space. Because like the forest, you know, for example, human forest system. So that is the that many different kinds of plants and animals also it can survive in that place so that organism it can live in the any disturbed plants have you understood any this because so that organism it can live in the free for the from the any disturbed from other side that is called what sanctuary this is called what the sanctuary okay so we will sanctuaries or national park and biosphere reserves okay well so that is about that the sanctuaries okay and next one the national park the next one the national park they we are saying that they give punga you know so that is called what so that is a national park here the national park means the area reserved for wildlife bird that can freely okay wow that area you know that area reserved for area reserved the area reserved for the area reserved for wildlife wildlife the area reserved for wildlife where the camp freely So 
that means the large area of land like here also when you have the forest bin so that is a the land you know it's a large area of land to protect it from the cultivation because of that land there is no use for cultivation so that land only used to be used for the animals or plants only so that land is not suitable for cultivation so the large area of land protected from cultivation of plants and animals and the microorganisms and traditional life in that area you know some of the tribal you know even the still now it's just some of the uh, people that live in that tribe you know like the animal people you know there are so many states also living in that place in our state also some people still now they are living in that hills okay wow. so that people they are called what the tribe okay wow. so the traditional tribal people also living in that area so that is called what that is called the biosphere reserve that is called what biosphere reserve even so even the government also takes some of the action you know uh, how to uh, pr protect or how to save the forest or like that wild wild animal nature you know the government also organizing you know the government also organizing some the society and the government agency also to take care of forest and wild animals okay wow even the government make some of the rules okay wow the government lay down some of the rules and method even the police also to conserve that forest okay wow because so these are the natural thing so these are the natural things is very important for particular human beings okay wow so that's why the government take or announce that many rules no one should not make a deforestation because there are so many living organisms it can survive in that place okay wow so that's why the government is never allowed to make a deforestation even the government also will support for us okay wow so that is about that the conservation of forest and wild okay thanks for